Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Steph. If you are new, welcome. Thank you for taking the time out to watch another video. Today, we are talking about managing and organizing files in Google Drive. And the reason for this video was a few weeks ago, I did a mass declutter of all my paperwork. And then as a result of that, I then did a video all around going paperless and how I actually organize my paperwork and all my digital files. And then today is a result of that. I want to dig in a little bit deeper and take you into my Google Drive and show you exactly how I set up my files. So it's very simple and very minimal, I think, which I really like. So let's dive straight in, shall we? So I have my laptop here ready to go. So I am screen sharing as well so you can see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. And I need to give a shout out to my mentor, Lewis Mocker. He actually inspired me to really get in, go through all my documents and give it a really good cleanup. And this was a little while ago now, but shout out to you, Lewis. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the kick that I needed to get it done. So this is my Google Drive right here. So obviously at the top, it gives you access to your most recent stuff that you go into. But I wanna share with you exactly how my folder structure is set up and then take you into a couple of them and just show you what's inside them, I suppose. So my first one here is Steph J King. So that is anything to do with my personal brand. So my personal brand is my name, obviously. So if I go into this folder here, so we've got my content. So this includes like all my information around what I wanna do for YouTube, what I wanna do on my website. And I have all my information for my website here, anything else that's related to my YouTube. So that could be like images that I've been using, anything that I've done to set up my channel. I also have some images that I use across social media, any of the marketing that I used to do, don't really do so much of that anymore, but there is a folder there that has all the information and any of the previous like images and articles and posts that I have used. So going back we've also got a folder here that has anything in there around education and learning so this could be books courses coaching and i've categorized it out there's business health the monthly mastermind that i'm in at the moment with my mentor lewis it is the best mastermind and best coaching that i have gone through so absolutely love it anything to do with life mastery. So if we go into life mastery here, I'm currently reading the book Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. And seriously, it is a awesome book, highly recommend. So in here, I've just been writing some notes as I've been going through it. And there's also some work in there around neuro associative conditioning. So I've pulled that information out because I found that really, really useful. And I want to use that for other stuff, just bits and pieces that I do in my life. So if we go back and maybe we can look at relationships. So here's a whole heap of books in there on relationships and just notes, any downloads or anything that I might have in regards to that as well. So that's edu education and learning. Then I have a filing system. So in my previous video where I talk about going paperless, that's because I don't really have any hard copy files left over. Now, Again, if you did watch my previous video, I do store hard copy files if we do have them. I do keep them for a 12 month period once I scan and upload them into Google Drive and then I destroy them after 12 months. So that's just a fail safe for me that I put in place. But other than that, they all go into this filing system here that I've got in my Google Drive. So I have a subfolder for any agreements bank statements, I keep records of conversations that I have with certain providers, electricity, gas, health, insurance, internet, miscellaneous, phone, proof of identification, property, purchase receipts. If we purchase big items that we want to keep the receipts for, I scan, upload them and save them there. Anything regarding our superannuation, our tax information. So we've got Tom and I in there. And then that breaks it down into each financial year. 
and then Tom's licensing and certificates, Tom's miscellaneous, and then anything to do with the vehicles. So I'll show you something, just how we set up the naming convention of our files to make it super easy. So if I go into gas here, you can see that it's all done in date order. In Australia here, we tend to use the date, then month, then year. So for example, today is Saturday the 23rd of February 2019. So if I was to write that down, I would say 23 slash 02 for February slash 2019. So what I do to save it in like date order, how I save it here is I put the year, the month, then the date. So for this particular bill, this was from the 18th of the 5th, 2016 to the 11th of the 8th, 2016. And the reason why I put the dates like that for bills is so that the oldest can be at the top and the newest at the bottom, or if you flick it, the newest can be at the top and the oldest can be at the bottom. So for example, if I reverse sort here, that will then flip it around. So the newest information is at the top of your list here. Cause what you'll do is if you just start every document name as origin, which is my provider for my gas, then all the dates are going to be skew if. So if I want to go back to maybe 12 months ago, that's going to be really hard for me to find. That's why I always put the date. I found another example. So these are some receipts that I have saved from a previous tax period. So what I like to do is I always go year, month, date. So you can see here, 2017, August, the 4th of August, and it was Virgin Australia and it was $7 for food. Another example is that I purchased a Apple mouse and that was on the 4th of the 11th, 2017. And the person or the company that I purchased it from was JB Hi-Fi and it was for $104. So having your naming convention easy like that where you've got the date first so you can sort it in order of the date and then I always put like the name of where I got that thing from, whether it is a store or whether it's a provider's name. And then I tend to put the amount as well. So then that way, when I go in to have a look at my documents, it's really easy for me to get a very quick snapshot of what that document actually is. So going back to my drive, I've also got some information in there around health and fitness, then some miscellaneous information my life plan so this is where i just do stuff that inspires me and i plan out my life i plan out my finances so i've got um, under my finances i have my financial independence plan and i also have my money management plan as well i have my grand master plan in there so how i want my life to look i've got my list of fun things to do. I have a list of my affirmations. I have a list of all my books that I want to read or have read. And I also have my power life script in there. Going back, I've got my products. So these are things that I have created that I like to give away. Some photos, Scanner Pro. So if you've watched my previous video on how I actually do scan any hard copy papers, I use the app Scanner Pro. So when I'm connected to my Wi-Fi and I take it on my phone, so I take a, pretty much it's like, it scans it, but it's like an image. Like you take a photo within the app and then you click save once you're happy with it. As long as I'm connected to Wi-Fi, it automatically goes to that folder. So that's super handy. I've also got a folder here for myself and Tom. So I just have a little spreadsheet there, love notes for Tom, and also just some information around our finances together. 
and that is it it's pretty simple and that's how I like it so I hope you got value out of this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up because that just lets me know that you did enjoy this video take care and I will see you in my next upload which will be very soon bye